Hey everyone, welcome and Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to create a video ad for Facebook. So this video is not gonna cover how to optimize your ads on Facebook or how to study your ad analytics. I'm actually still learning how to use the Facebook ad manager. And the ad manager is a beast in and of itself. Now, once I've done more testing on my own video ads, I will definitely make a tutorial for you. So there are many different parts to a video ad, but of course the video has to be appealing. People are more likely to watch three to 10 seconds of your video before they even read the headline or the description of your ad. So today I am going to walk you through the video production steps on how to create your ad. And I know that many entrepreneurs want to learn how to create a video ad because video, as you know, is being significantly pushed out on Facebook. So if you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. I share video production and video marketing tutorials for wellness business owners to create a memorable brand with inspiring videos. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can get notified when I release new videos every week. All right, so there are many types of video ads that you can create, but when you're getting started, it's best to keep your video to 30 seconds or less. You should aim to make them short, sweet, and engaging to keep the viewer watching longer. And yes, there are many different types of ads, style, and length that you can create, but for the purpose of this video, I wanna show you how to create a 30 second video ad. I am here to help you get video literate, so let's jump into the demo. Okay, so here we are on the Canva homepage, and the first thing we wanna do is go into video and then Facebook video. And the reason we're clicking Facebook video is because the dimensions are already set. We want a 1080 by 1080 video, which is a square video, okay? And so the great thing about Canva is you do have a ton of stock video options. They have a huge library with a lot of stock video. A lot of the stock video is free. And then if you do want to buy just an individual piece of footage, you can purchase just one video at a time rather than upgrading to Canva Pro. So the first thing I want you to think about when you're making your Facebook video is you want to think about what the story is that you're telling. I've made several videos on my channel about the importance of storytelling in marketing. And so for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be making a video ad for a massage spa, a massage business. It's just gonna be a 30 second ad, as I've said. We will add some text on the screen, but you don't have to add a voiceover. You can add music to this later, um, you don't have to talk on camera. This is a way you can create an ad without having to talk on camera and actually show your face. But it is good if you feel comfortable, you can also add your own footage by going in and uploading. So you could shoot footage on your phone. Um, you know, you're the uh, business owner of this massage. You could add, you know, 10 seconds just you know, really telling people about the story behind what you're offering. Why are you doing massage? What is it that makes you different from other massage businesses? People are really drawn in to the story. I did actually find this footage um, prior to shooting the demo. So the first piece of footage that I want to put in is gonna be this vertical piece of footage of a foot massage, right? So the first three seconds of that video, you wanna capture people's attention. Now who, when they're scrolling through Facebook, doesn't want to see a foot massage and imagine themselves you know, being that person? So with this type of video, we need to stretch it, which means that part of the video is going to get cropped out but that's fine. We just wanna make sure we cover the entire width of this square video and not keep it as a vertical video. So now we have our video covering the space. Let's go ahead and play it and see which parts of the video that we want to keep. Because this video right now, if you see where the scissors are, this is telling us it's a 16 second video. 
but we don't want this entire clip of 16 seconds. So let's go into the scissors, which is our cut feature, and we can drag these bars to create our in and out points. And you see how it's reducing the amount of time for the clip. So whatever is in between these little green bars is what we're gonna wanna use in this first piece of footage. So let's just go ahead and have about five seconds and it previews it. Anytime you change the bars, it's immediately gonna preview it. So you can see where you start and you end. So let's go ahead and choose this little clip here. That's perfect and we hit done, okay? So next we want to add another page. When we add a page, we're gonna add a separate video. So this is essentially our video editor, our um, what we would call our timeline and equivalent to like Premiere Pro or really any other video editor, except it doesn't look like a timeline. Just keep in mind, anytime you add a page, you're able to add a new section of the final video that you're creating. So in this is your canvas area. So next up, I think we want to add uh, this one here, which is a landscape video. And again, we need to stretch it because if we left it as landscape, we are gonna have some bars on the top and the bottom. So we have to crop out part of the image, which is fine because people, when they're viewing these, ads, um, most often people are viewing them on their mobile phone. And so you want a close up image anyway, you don't want a lot of wide shots. And so again, like thinking about the story of this massage parlor, um, you know, first we are, we're bringing them in with the foot massage and now we want to show them, well, we also offer, you know, full body massages. So let's get this set up properly with the right framing. And now again, we don't want this 24 seconds. We wanna go ahead and reduce it and see it's gonna preview anytime I drag. And we can see which part we want to see right after the foot massage. So, you know, we're probably gonna want about 10 seconds here. And I would say that we want you know, probably starting with her head, you know, just making sure that we have some really good footage here that brings people in, draws them in and sets the scene. Okay, so let's just go ahead and leave that footage. And then I wanna show you one other piece of footage just so you get the idea of how we are piecing this all together. So the last piece of footage is the back massage, right? Like who does not want a back massage? So you wanna end with a piece of footage that is memorable, right? So, you know, make sure they remember your ad and then they think about it and they remember the name of your company and, you know, they look you up on Facebook or they click your call to action on your ad right away. So we're gonna clip this one again. And this is right up here, you can see um, on the upper right in the purple, this is our full ad, it is now 36 seconds. But as I'm reducing these clips, you can see that it is um, reducing the full time of the ad. So this is the individual clip, this is the full ad. So let's go ahead and use this, I think. These three clips would be wonderful. Okay, so the next step is we wanna add some text. And so we wanna think about adding text to each of these pieces of video here. So for this one, I want to just tell people who we are, you know, right away, capture their attention. So I'm going into some text that I found earlier just selecting the text and then I wanna change it here. So I'm gonna say massage time. That could be the name of the business or you could just be you know, letting people know, hey, it's massage time, right? And then you want to say, come visit us. And 
Korean, you could say Swedish massage, maybe some types that you offer, shiatsu, something like that, etc. You know, just think of what you want to put, or you could delete. You don't have to have a lot of text. I actually recommend、um, minimal amount of text. Okay, so then we'll come down here and we want on this face video clip, let's have it say glow. But we, we want them to see the video. So let's just add this right up here. And you could make this in your brand colors or you could leave it as is. And then for the last clip here, we're going to have our call to action. And so we can use this text from Canva and we could say 25% discount. We could say、uh, spring sale. We could you know, put the end date on there. And we want to just make sure it's all centered and that it looks really nice. You can say contact us. And of course, we can change the font size of, on any of these fonts. I'm sure most of you have used Canva.、Um, but yeah, you know, you can alter a lot of different things within Canva.、Um, but in terms of your video ad, you know, we want to keep it short and sweet. This is 25 seconds. So let me just go ahead and play a little bit. Of the ad that we have edited together. So, this looks great with the intro. I mean, if I was someone who was an ideal client for getting a massage, this would capture my attention right away. I'd be like, Where is this place? Sign me up. I need a Swedish massage. In fact, I think I'm gonna go find one after I make this demo.、Um, But yeah, guys, this is all that you have to do. See, that literally took us、um, you know, 10 minutes or less to create a Facebook video ad. And again, you can upload your own videos. You want to make this a very personalized video. This is stock footage, but it works for specific purposes. And you want to try out many different types of ads so you can come back in and tweak. And you want to experiment and see what works best for the audience that you are trying to reach. Make it personal, make it story driven, be simple, and make it creative. All right, guys, that's how you make a Facebook video ad. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial, everyone. Let me know in the comments below what type of video ad will you be creating. Also, let me know what type of business or brand that you have. I love learning about you. And please like this video because it does greatly help out the YouTube algorithm. And subscribe to my channel for more video production and video marketing tips every single week. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Have a wonderful day.